Alrighty, here's a quick video walkthrough of our 2011 4 Wind Serrano. It's a 31V model. Now this is a front engine diesel. Pretty unique little coach, very small which is nice. Got the Max 470 International in it. It is on the still, the big tires on the, uh, well not the, the biggest ones, but the 19.5 tires. We're gonna go through the exterior compartments really quick, show you that you do have a passer there, and then we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. No passer in that one. You do have lights and all these. They all got that heavy duty plastic that, very durable. You can see 31V right there. Four ones is owned by Thor now. So you can still find parts and get her serviced up. Got a big old propane tank, 28.7 gallons. You got a, one of the water tanks right above it, it looks like, and a drain on it, which is nice. Now, of course, I got your awning out. It is an electric awning, just comes out with the push of a button. Very nice. This coach is also full body paint. Check out this rear compartment. This is so cool. Previous owner put this extra level in here so you can store more, store more stuff. Ain't the prettiest looking thing, but it's very useful. <laughs> of course, you got a ladder to go up top. That's another compartment to get to that rear. <clears throat> Do you have a hitch? 5,000 pound and a 7Y brake pin connector. Here's the other side of the coach. I gotta replace the screw cover that goes right there to cover that up. No big deal, I got a roll of a thousand feet of that in the, in the old service area. Dump station though. Got your water fills, your low point drains, an outdoor shower, power hookups, power cord, a couple passers down below. Very nice, nice and clean. Not too busy. And you got an area to store your sewer hose and access a couple more mechanical things, but that's really all that is. Here's the generator. It is a 6,000 with 480 hours on it. Not too bad for an 11. And your hydraulic pump. This is a two slide coach. You got opposing slides, which is very nice. Battery compartment. And then finally, that other side of that pass through. Very quick. I mean, it's not too big, so it makes it easy to walk through. Well, it's kind of cool. They put this front hitch on here. I don't know if you're a boater, backing up your boat will be a dream with that thing. All right, let's jump inside after we shut these compartments. All right. So like I said, two steps coming out and then you got two more in. Down below, you got battery disconnects right there and then some lights in your awning. Let's jump in. Here's your first look. Let's start up front. She got about 44,000 miles on her. Auto leveling jacks down there. Down on the left side, you got your battery boost, overdrive, fog lights, fans, cab lights, standard stuff. Backup camera for that. That does slide out, give you a nice little desk for the passenger seat. And these do turn, of course, these are front seats. Now you do have the hump. It is a Fred, a front engine diesel. So you gotta step over that, but that's really the worst thing. Electric power seat for the driver. Pretty basic up front. Now your storage is, I mean, pretty standard storage. Let me open these up so you can see. There we go. So you got your switch box in this top right one. Area, put a receiver or for a satellite. To the left of that, you got another small little storage. I think these guys on the left do open too. Let's find out. And they don't. I thought they did. All right. So in your first slide, it's right here with the dinette. Goes from that corner all the way over to that corner. Now it is a U-shaped dinette. This can be converted to a bed. It's in really good condition. Nice leather. I love leather. My wife is a cloth kind of gal, but what are you going to do? All right, so this is one of those trifold mattresses. So you pull this bad boy over, and I think it's an air mattress setup. So you pull it over, lay the legs down. You got a pretty comfy sleeping area, actually. Above that, you got three storages. Not the biggest, but still good for really anything. Yeah. 
So you do have day and night shades on this. So you see the two different ones there. And they're really not too bad. Usually a big problem with these is they get extremely dirty and they're hard to clean up. Now your floor up front, just like a laminate. And then the same thing, just a different kind of design back here. But it looks great. I love it. TV position right there. Not too bad. A little bit of storage under the TV. And then above the entry door, got kind of all your your power center, your slide controls, LP, some key hangers. So that carbon monoxide, smoke, and then your standard TV antenna. Fantastic fan in the kitchen. Now to the right, you got your kitchen. This island, or not island, that does extend right there. I'll show you. So you can't push this back. And what do you got? You got a drawer right there. A little bit of storage down below. And it is Corian, so you still have that kind of granite gran equivalent here. Pop up two burner gas stove top. Sink right there. Got the water in there to keep the moisture out. A little bit of storage to the left. Now, no oven, so you got a convection microwave. It's big, <laughs> it's a residential style. And a power cord for that. That is 110. And then storage down below there. And then under the sink. Oh, look, you got a water bypass behind that false panel. And then one last storage on the left side. Oh, I guess, let's call it a spice drawer. All right. So that's the main front area. Now we got to move on back to the bathroom and the, uh, the bedroom. But before we get there, we do pass your two door fridge. This is a propane or electric fridge. Looks like a six, six cubic foot. To the left of that, real pantry. Oh, I guess I need two hands to pull this out. Let's see. Oh, I got lucky. All right. There you go. I'll kind of show you some of that. It does come out further, but just show you all the extra compartments you got. All right. Now we're continuing on back. You do have a little step up into the bedroom right before you got the door to your bathroom. But before you get your, technically your wardrobe, that's a cushion for the dinette to make it a sleeper. Oh, there's a light in here. Okay, got to replace the bulb. Sweet. <clears throat> you got three of these drawers right down below. So a good amount of storage. And you have a slider to kind of separate that uh, bedroom from the main galley area. Now your bathroom. Two by three shower, China toilet, that nice same countertops throughout. Now you do have a step up into the shower, uh, about a foot. So I don't know, if you're really tall, that might be a problem. I'm not very tall, I'm five nine, I still fit in here fine. You could probably be well into the six foot range. You're just gonna have to bend down to get wet. So your head will probably be past that shower head. Storage in here. And you do have a heat vent and an AC vent in here, which is nice. No matter what, when you're doing your business, it won't be cold or hot. And it's not a bidet, but you got that kind of cool flushing mechanism there. And you do have, I love that little accent light. You got one more of those accents in the bedroom right there. Now your bed, it is a little lifted up. It is a queen. Now looking at it, it might be the short queen, not positive. Now you got the humps here mainly for that storage. Don't, isn't this funny? They call this a wardrobe. Thank God you got that main bigger one. What is that? Is that a drawer? Oh, it is a drawer. How cool is that? And then you got two of the storages above. And these are just connected. And then in front, of course, your AC is directly in the bedroom. There's a TV, AC control, couple lights. We'll go to the other side. You got another step down and then a step up. Bigger wardrobe on the left side, which is nice. Now, no underbed storage, mainly because everything under there is storage. So there you go. I know it's fast. Quick walkthrough. 2011 Four Wind Serrano 31V with that international motor. It is a diesel. It is a front engine diesel on that workhorse chassis. Hope you had a good look. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Have a great day.